has always loved a little bit of controversy. The baddest man on the planet was constantly in the headlines during his career and it was very rarely for the right reasons. As one of the most notoriously short, fused men on earth, Tyson's thunderous temper often got the best of him as he struggled to manage his explosive emotions. It all peaked when he bit a chunk out of Evander Holyfield's ear as he struggled to make any impact in a frustrating bout. However, that was just one moment in a long line of hot, headed misdemeanors for Tyson as the out of ring media storms became a massive distraction in his career. Even later in his boxing life, when one would have expected wisdom to start taking shape, Tyson was constantly in the news for his questionable behavior. He knew what he was doing a lot of the time as well and never was that more on show than when he managed to annoy the entire nation of Brazil. Tyson once again got himself into hot water after he allegedly punched a cameraman and broke his recording equipment while visiting the capital city of the South American nation, Sao Paulo. The incident is said to have occurred in a nightclub in the city just five months after Tyson's retirement from boxing in 2005. As a result, Tyson made an appearance in Brazilian court but his choice of attire was less than ideal. The boxer showed up for his date in court wearing none other than Argentinian football shirt, and, just to add extra fuel to the flame, it was signed by Diego Maradona. The top was given to Tyson as a gift after he met the late Barcelona and Napoli superstar during a TV appearance earlier in 2005. He really didn't car back then, did he? It is unclear as to whether the case was taken any further after that initial court date but you can be sure it left a bitter taste in the mouth of Brazilian sports fans. Thankfully, Mike has taken a step away from his provocative days and now makes his leaving as a very successful podcaster and businessman.